Hello folks, Sam Owens here and I've got a tool uh, for the homeowner and the professional. It's Vivor uh, tap and die set. There's 80 pieces between these two, metric and standard. Uh, the black one is metric and the gray is standard and everything is there and we're going to open up and look at it and later I'm going to attempt a demonstration just to show a uh, using the, uh, a tap and a bolt I have in a stock piece of metal. Alright, let's look at each one of them. And this is not a real uh, course on how to use uh, this product because uh, there are a lot of technical things that uh, you really have to know in order to uh, use it uh, to its fullest potential. But if you're a homeowner and you've got a stripped out uh, screw uh, or something, uh, you can do a repair with this. So it does have its uh, uses. And uh, here's what you get. Uh, get this tap holder right here which is uh, going to hold your tap in place screw these down and go to town okay you have all of the sizes here uh, also of the taps and these are all of the taps right here and there's 17 of them and there's uh, 17 die and the same number over here they're just the various sizes and uh, let's just look at one of the, uh, oh, let me go to the other. Here's the holder for the die. And right here, uh, there's the other little part that goes in there. And a die will go right in here. Uh, and on each one, there's a little knockout. And this is what's going to hold it in place. So you just pull this over and pop this in. And this is going to hold it in place. Now you have to go far enough. Okay, once it goes in, it's self-centering. And then you're ready to go. And you could clean up a stripped bolt with this. And there you go. Now one thing about these... Uh, die uh, is the fact that you have more of these loads uh, than you do on some have only four this one has one uh, five let's see one two three four five yes which is going to give you more cutting uh, action all right now uh, you get this little pamphlet here which is kind of like an inventory it doesn't really give you any, any instructions but it tells you what's in the set and right here if you have any questions customer service uh, this is uh, the Vivar customer service website and they'll be glad to help you okay uh, it starts out uh, with uh, the size of 34 piece dies are as followed and goes right down the list. And uh, this is everything in it. I don't think I need to go through each one, uh, but uh, I'll just do the first one is M3 uh, times 0 0.5. M3.0, let's see. Ah. That's this one right here. These are the, uh, the metric. And that is a metric size. Very small one. And so that's how you can find them. So this will be all metric right here. And then uh, you go down to the course over here. And over on this side, you got 4-40NC. 4 NC 4 O right there so you see you can find uh, through this list and that's pretty much it uh, like I say uh, I did look 
online and find that uh, if you're going to use a um, uh, a tap, you need to be able to have the uh, uh, the uh, drill bit size that will accommodate this. And there's a lot of information uh, about the depth of the threads and and formulas and uh, so. I know the folks that uh, are in the machine shops and uh, uh, know these uh, measurements and what you have to do, uh, but I'm directing this to the homeowner uh, where it's going to be trial and error. You use the drill bits you have, and uh, but uh, if you want to really uh, do it right, you need to be able to get the charts and uh, uh, get the proper uh, drill bits uh, to do the job that will give you the nice fit that you need for the bolt. So just letting you know. But repair, this would be great. Uh, this little tool right here, uh, which is the, um, the gauge for finding out what size uh, your, uh, your threads are on a bolt or the tap. Uh, Right here you have two different sizes. When you push this out, you'll see you have fine, and over here, these are more, a little more coarse. Actually, I got it the other way around. Let's see, I'm gonna open them up like this. This is more coarse, and this is finer. Okay, so I'm just going to let you see that, that you have the fine ones. So looking down here, these are fine. This one is coarse. I'm going to look for this one right here, this tap. And so I see right now I'm going to go to this side because this is uh, a little larger. And when I look right on the shank of it, it's M12 by 175, M12 by 175. So I'm gonna see 1.7, let's see. Yeah, 1.75 on this. And I will go up here and try to find them. There's 1.75 right here. So I'm gonna pull this over. You might be able to see it. 1.75 they don't put the m12 on there but then what you do is put this right up here and it's a perfect match let's see what is wrong if you get another one see doesn't line up in the teeth at all so that's how you can use this to find out uh, what uh, thread size you have and uh, it's a nice useful tool. You have one for each one. Over here is the SAE and let's look at this particular one right here and it's actually a half NF20. So it's a pretty heavy thread. So I'm going to look for the big ones compared to the little. And right there, I'm going to go on this side to find that 20. And I'm going to look for 20. It's 12, 13, 14, right on down to 20 is at the bottom. Right there is 20. Okay, so I'm going to pull these back that down and around. And go over here and this again you can see it look there it lines right up perfectly it just falls right in there very nice little tool to have okay so that goes in this set and so both sets are the same and uh, these are the uh, standards I'm going to do a demonstration here uh, showing using a tap. Okay, I got this uh, out of the matrix and I've got a bolt here that is a matrix and uh, the way I found it is this is uh, M8125 
and if you'll look they're both the same diameter and also the threads line up perfectly but uh, here's the thing is I've got to have a drill bit that is the proper drill bit for this and I don't really have it I have one just a hair bigger so the threads are a little bit uh, looser so uh, if I had a chart for this bolt size I could get the proper drill bit to drill the holes that's what I'm pointing out that you're gonna have to uh, have some more information uh, to really do it correctly let me get my drill bit and uh, my stock metal and uh, we're going to show a demonstration of using uh, the tap to tap a hole into metal and use this screw. Okay, we're in the matrix uh, set and we're going to take uh, tap M8125 and again it lined up perfectly with the threads as good as I possibly can see and uh, we need to get the holder for the tap and what you do is you pop this in right here and then you screw screw this down right here now you don't want on the round part you want to stay on the square and give it a good tight turn both of them okay there, perfect. <clears throat> now we've got our tap set to go and uh, we're going to use this aluminum stock and uh, I'm going to drill a hole in the end of it with a drill bit that's close to the proper size which I found was a quarter inch and I'm going to take a quarter inch drill bit because I did two uh, some test holes and this was the closest drill bit I have it's not correct there is a, a certain drill bit that will uh, accommodate this tap to give you the correct thread depth this doesn't quite do it but this is a demonstration just to show the people that uh, are homeowners that uh, just what is involved with uh, using a tap okay here's what we do put this in my drill bit or drill and then tighten her down good and if you got a clutch put it on drill and mine is and now i'm going to drill a hole right in here just in the end and i'm going to hold this I don't want to drill filing down there, so I'm going to push that out of the way. And I'm going to hold the drill perpendicular to it. I don't want to wallow the hole. I want it to go straight. Getting close. Here it goes. All right. Now, you see this is larger than that hole, so that's just what I want. And now, I'm going to use this, and if you'll notice, these are tapered at the end, so it's going to uh, guide itself in. But you do have to be able to swing this around and push in and get it to start it. So, I push in firmly and twist. So you start out slow, and it's cutting, and don't wiggle up and down, try to hold it steady, a little bit at a time, and a firm holding in, and at some point it will start coming out the back, you're pretty well through it, see the hole is not quite right so it's losing losing its grip but I've started again okay okay 
now I'm going to see if I can just kind of guide it in. And it's going. I feel the end of it moving in. And now it's really biting into the metal. It's coming out the back side. So now I should be able to just slowly turn this. Now I'm going in straight. And it's cutting the threads. Ah, I'm getting. Oh yeah, I can see it come through at the back. And now it's getting easy. Look at there. Perfect. And there it goes. All right. I'm going to put this back in and just unscrew it. And this will kind of clean the thread out, give you a nice smooth cut. Okay, we'll test our bolt. There, I see my threads in there. Now, let's try it out. Look at that, perfect. But there is a little bit of movement in the bolt, and that's because I probably uh, needed a different size hole than the, the quarter inch. But for a demonstration, I think that will give you an idea of just what you're doing when you're uh, using a tap to put new threads in a stock piece of metal that there were no threads before. Or you can use this to straighten out a stripped uh, thread. So I think that'll give you an idea as best I can. Like I say, this is very basic and uh, the professionals, uh, they probably know uh, everything they need to know about uh, all of this. So uh, I think it's going to be a great product for the homeowner uh, to do those little repair jobs where the screw is uh, stripped out and you need to uh, correct it. The professional, he's going to have a nice set of uh, tap and dies to do all the uh, work that he needs to do. So it's going to accomplish uh, a lot for a lot of people. So I want to thank you very much for watching my video.